This is your family's first and most important line of defense against Mother Nature. When she strikes, make sure you call the people that I trust, my family and friends at Exterior Home Solutions. Spring practice is in the books for Tennessee as the orange and white game is concluded. I'm Brent Hubs along with Eric Kane. Time for a two minute drill here presented by our good friends at Exterior Home Solutions. Be sure and check them out. They're taking care of my roof. They'll take care of your roof or any of your exterior needs. That is at Exterior Home Solutions. All right, talking about solutions, Tennessee's looking for some and some positions. Big picture, what's your takeaway of not just today, but what's your takeaway of spring practice for Tennessee? Yeah, I mean, I, I, it feels like they got some explosiveness back in the offense a little bit. You saw that here on a on a Saturday in the orange and white game. One was a free play, 71-yard bond to Chris Brazel. Another one, you know, Mike Matthews, his adjustment to the football and that Gassimore throw. Uh, was phenomenal. Um, so I think you, you saw a little bit more of explosiveness and, and competition with those wide receivers, and we saw that here today. Uh, still a work in progress at the line of scrimmage, particularly on the offensive line, some of those young guys. But um, overall, it's kind of kind of what we thought it would be. Um, glad the offense finally got going and there was something to talk about there in the second quarter. But I think my biggest takeaway from today and really everything is uh, – there's going to be some big plays, some fireworks in this offense, kind of like, not saying it's going to be like 2022, but kind of like in that same realm where you didn't have it last fall. Yeah, I remember this too. I mean, I thought my takeaway from watching this was just how much they used the middle of the football field yeah. in the orange and white game. Now, we'll see if that translates this fall, but clearly this quarterback, this offense, this version of it at this point feels pretty comfortable throwing the ball over the middle, whether that's slants, mm -hmm. whether that's a dig to a tight end or a crossing route. They seem, they seem pretty confident in the, in the quarterback's abilities to play over the middle, which opens up that offense tremendously. If they can get back to doing that, something they didn't feel comfortable doing a year ago. You mentioned that offensive line. Look, I know they had some tough times and yeah. tough days, but, man, the number of reps that those young guys got is just – you just can't, you can't match that. I was talking to Cooper Mays on the sideline. He's just like – I know it's been hard on them. I've told them just to hang tough. Because, mm -hmm. But what they've learned and what they've had to go through this spring will just certainly pay great dividends for them in the fall because of how many reps they got. It's not the same thing, but you think about those young linebackers last year that were force-fed by Brian John Marie, and they just played, and they played, and they played. Different circumstances, I get that, but, um, you know, Bites and Lang, William Satterwhite, Jesse Perry, Trevor Duncan, Larry John, I mean, all, you know, you go down the list, uh, Max Anderson. They went up against grown men mm -hmm. all, I mean, for the last month, five right. weeks. I mean, every day in practice. Again, Cooper Mays was there for the first couple of practices, and, I mean, really, that was it. Right. Um, and, and so you're right. It might not look like a finished product now, but it's not going to do anything but help these guys moving forward. And football is a contact sport. They're going to lose an offensive lineman or two at some point in time in the, in the uh, fall, and you need to be able to rely on some of these guys. So I think this spring, to your point, will really help them in their growth and maturation process. Still looking for a left guard, still looking for a backup center. I mean, those questions are still out there, but um, getting the reps against the Amari Thomases, the Norman Lodds, the Hobbs, the Moyes, I mean, Eason's, all those guys, they're just going to get better for yeah, it. And again, we knew those questions were going to remain. They weren't yeah. going to answer left guard. They weren't going to answer backup center. They had to work towards it, but they probably weren't going to get there. The real interesting question for me offensively is, where do they think they are at tailback coming out of spring? I don't know that the orange and white game really showed you anything mm -hmm. out of a tailback. That's going to be a fascinating development over the course of the next three weeks. Are they comfortable with where they are? Are they uncomfortable and feel like they need to go somewhere for a transfer? Is that realistic no. to not upset the room? That's going to be a real storyline for this offense, I think, the next couple of weeks. Yeah, and also if you figure out that you want to go get a tailback, you target a tailback, what is that guy's asking price and is it worth it? Mm -hmm. Because, again, you're looking at a third-string tailback. It, 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 economic sense has got, has got to be in play here. So a lot of factors that go into this, but you're right. I don't think we can kind of come to that conclusion by watching this game. I think Deshaun Bishop had, you know, four carries for 10 yards. Khalifa Keith had stat-wise a little bit better of a day. but uh, And they were running behind some of these guys that probably aren't going to be playing football in the right. offensive line in the, in the fall too. So we'll see. I think that's uh, the question that needs to be answered. And uh, you don't have an answer for it right here, but we'll see in the next couple of weeks as the spring portal opens on Monday. I want to kind of take the reins here for a second. Sure. Defensive note. Thought the secondary gave us some big plays. We knew that, obviously. Ricky Gibson made a nice play on the sideline. Thought Jalen McMurray made a nice play. I mean, there were a couple, you know, here and there. Edwin Spillman is not going to play a lot of linebacker this fall, but he is going to be a football player. Yeah, he's going to play a lot of special teams. Yeah. I mean, he, you know, clearly just has a sense and some instincts. He's still learning a lot of what he's doing, but he plays really fast and gets wherever he's going in a hurry, which is what you're looking for at the linebacker spot. I thought Mike Matthews again showed up as yeah. he has in every spring, every scrimmage. 
Chris Brazel showed up. Mm -hmm. Fans didn't get a chance to see Braylon Staley because he didn't go today. The competition at that receiver spot's really good. They've got some competition in the back end. Boo Carter showed up a yeah, couple times today. G going to be a good summer. I mean, that's the one big takeaway if you look at it from 10,000 feet. Th there's more competition. There's more depth. There's more quality depth in this football program than we've seen since Josh Heupel's arrived. You're not in survival mode anymore. You're that's not right. saying, good well, point. and I mean, I know some injuries and offensive tackles and all that. I mean, we know this team but every, right But, but every, everybody yeah. can be that way across yeah. the country. Nobody's going three deep in offensive tackle. Yeah. The, the point being, you have the quality bodies you're looking for. You are legitimately talking about competition at certain spots, whereas this time two, three years ago, you're like, man, can, is this good enough for the fall? And so, uh, again, just a credit to Josh Heupel and staff, the way the roster's been built, and um, good spring. I think Josh Heupel's pleased with where, where his team is leaving spring knowing that there's a long way to go and fall. Well, and that's going to do it for this edition of the Two Minute Drill presented by Exterior Home Solutions. We have baseball coverage tonight, recruiting coverage, plenty of coverage from today's orange and white game. He's Eric Kane. I'm Brent Hubs, allquest.com.